What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Casey and today we're going to be talking about consistency. We are mid-January and for some of us, we have already not accomplished or stayed on track for our New Year's resolutions, our 2024 goals. But that is okay. We can hop back on this train before it's too late. For others of us, we may have, you know, struggled a little bit. Like we just tripped up a little bit, but we still running the race. You see what I'm saying? And so I really want to talk today about struggling with consistency because I think that it is something that is needed in order to accomplish a goal. So I have three tips today to help you with scriptures to go along with them. So let's just hop right into it because this is going to just be a short, sweet video. Make sure that your habits match your vision. So we always um, come up with a goal and it could be, hey, I want to lose five pounds this month, or I want to read my Bible, or I want to read the entire Bible for the whole year, or um, I want to spend less money, or I want to save more money, you know? And so all of these things have habits attached to them, right? So if you want to lose weight, guess what that means? You have to go to the gym every day or three to five times a week or whatever your trainer says for you to do. If you're wanting to save, um, then you are going to have to spend less money. And what does that mean? You need to govern your time accordingly. You can't go out and like go out to eat all the time because you want to save some money. So uh, if you are like thinking about making money a part of your goal, please check the um, YouTube description box below because I do have a new podcast coming out called The Banking Bunch Podcast, which is talking about all things money, all things saving, all things real estate, because as you know, I am your trusted national realtor. So there's that. Um, so anyway, so the tip number one, your uh, habits don't match your vision. So the scripture... Um, that goes with that is when people do not accept divine guidance they run wild but whoever obeys the law is joyful now i want to be joyful in my life right i don't want to just have happiness temporary happiness like i want to be in a state of pure joy always um and i think that like this divine guidance is your everyday habits right like what are you supposed to be doing every day in order to accomplish your bigger goal so for me i do want to read the bible this year the entire bible this year so every day of the week i have a bible plan that um takes me through the different stories of the bible so that i can complete the bible so um yeah make sure that you are planning daily habits to accomplish your bigger goal okay and stick to that plan now of course give yourself grace because there are times and days where things come up and maybe we cannot do those habits or do those things that we need to do in order to accomplish that goal um i say give yourself grace in that aspect but make sure that you're like catching up on the back end okay number two of why people are not consistent is because you're just not authentic and I say that because I have been in a space where I felt like I have to go get my nails done because that's what the girls are doing. They're going to the salon, they're getting their nails done, they're getting their hair done, they're getting the wigs, the weaves. Um, and I want to live an aesthetic life, personally. And that's just not really me. You know what I'm saying? Like I do have an aesthetic, but it's not the Instagram aesthetic. Okay, let's just be very clear. Like, I enjoy putting my press-ons on from Kiss. That's who I'm wearing today, okay? Um, I enjoy putting my press-on nails on. And I enjoy getting the same amount of compliments on my nails as if I spent $100, $125 at the nail salon. So, I enjoy doing that. I enjoy taking care of my own natural hair. Um, and I think that it can be very overwhelming if you have to put on a facade to do what you enjoy doing like i want to come onto the internet and be authentically myself and it can be very draining if i have to act like i'm kyra kyle lachey or um well her name is kai lachey or kyra or um alia's face or alia j or any of those youtubers that i watch i am not that i am not that girl i love watching their youtube videos and i love them right 
from afar. But I am not their aesthetic. I cannot sit here and do those things. I don't enjoy doing those things personally. So why would I like try to come on here onto the internet and try to live a life that mirrors theirs just because they're getting views or they're I enjoy watching their content and I want to emulate them. I don't. I want to be myself and there's that. So the scripture um that I have and I only want to focus on part of it and I'll explain why I don't want to focus on the other part. So this is coming from Philippians 2 3. I think that I've said this um scripture on a video in the past maybe the self-sabotage maybe the self-sabotage one but um it says do do not be selfish do not try to impress others and that's really where i want to stay but it continues and says be humble thinking of others as better than yourself now the reason why i have a problem with that in this context because in other contexts it it is very valuable right that second part but in this context of being authentic like to me being humble is being authentic and um i don't want to impress others and i am being humble but i i think for women or not i think it is scientifically proven that women um have imposter syndrome far more than men and so when I see that second part, thinking of others as better than yourself, I don't want it to become like, oh, well, my life isn't as great because I don't have these views or because I don't have this aesthetic, you know? So that's the only reason why I don't want to use this, that second part for sake of this video. So I just want to focus on do not be selfish. Do not try to impress others. Be humble. So yeah, I said all that to say, when you are authentic, you're really not trying to impress other people. Other people may be impressed and that could be a byproduct of your authenticity, but that's not why you're striving to be someone. You are waking up every day and you're mindful of yourself and your surroundings and what makes you happy. And one thing that I have started doing that really has helped me is um, journaling. Journaling, at first, I was like, this journaling stuff is for the birds. Like, I don't know why the girls keep talking about journaling. I don't even know what to write about. Like, I'm a writer. And I was like, what What am I going to write about? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But as time went on, I started just doing like a free flow, like mind dump. And that has been the best thing. I get the best sleep after I journal. After I journal and I just dump out all of my thoughts for today in the most like unconventional way. I don't have a script. I just start writing and then it just starts flowing. And then I just start talking to God through my journal. Like it doesn't start out like God, like this is what I'm feeling. It's just like, hey, here are my thoughts that have been in my head today. I'm getting that out on paper. And then I'm like, but God, you said this and I'm writing that you know out in my journal and i don't quote the exact scripture because i may not know the exact scripture but <laughs> but i know what the word says right and i know that it's accurate i just may not know exactly where it is other than exodus 14 14 because that's my favorite scripture anywho um so yeah like journaling to me is just very freeing when you just let yourself free flow at first, when I started free flowing, I think that I maybe had like a paragraph or two, maybe, maybe pushing three. But now that I free flow, I have two full pages of free flow every night. And it cuts down my social media time because we all need that. It cuts down my TV time. It cuts down like the noise in my life. It allows me to just slow down just because I'm free flowing. And sometimes like, it may be like things that I've already written in the past. And then I'll just go back and see like what I read, like what I wrote about those things and how I feel differently today. And I allow myself to feel differently. Um, and so that's me coming from a place of authenticity that allows me to um, get rid of that, the rest of that brain fog. And even for me, like doing dry January has been extremely helpful for me. 
And honestly, I have an accountability person for dry January. And I was authentic and um, I was very humble when I came to them and was like, hey, uh, can we be accountability partners for dry January? Because I need that. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I just want to have a clear headspace and I want to be productive and I want to be authentic. But I know that if I'm like watching TikTok videos or YouTube videos or even Instagram videos of people like smoking hookah, like out in the club, then that's what I want to do subconsciously. I'm like, yeah, that sounds good right about now. You know what I'm saying? But I don't need to do that. So yeah, that's all about authenticity. The other, the final reason of why people are not staying consistent with their New Year's goals um, is because you're just overthinking it. And coming from an overthinker, like I be overthinking. Okay, that's why my free flows be like two full pages long because I'm overthinking and I'm writing the same stuff down in a different way. And I'm just like, but what if this and what if that? And that's causing you to hesitate. So the scripture that I'm reading today, um, the first two scriptures were in the New Living Translation and this one's in the message version. version. Um, and it comes from Colossians chapter three, verse one and two. Um so if you're serious about living this new resurrection life with Christ, act like it. Pursue the things over which Christ presides. Don't shuffle along, eyes to the ground, absorbed with the things right in front of you. Look up, be alert to what is going on around Christ. That's where the action is. See things from his perspective. And I just feel like that just like, is me we can, sometimes you can't see the forest from the trees and sometimes you can't see the trees from the forest because it's like no matter what type of perspective you have like it can just be very overwhelming but when you know that you wrestle not with like flesh and blood like you wrestle with spirits powers principalities that are out there and those things are coming like and intervening on your thought process and in your mind then you know what scriptures you need to say in order to navigate around that. Um, and when it says see things from his perspective, I, I take that to to be different things because as an overthinker, I try to look at them from every angle, right? But when I when I am objectively looking at my situation. I know that here's where I am, here's where I wanna be, these are the steps I need to do in between, and the only thing that's stopping me is it's not motivation. Like, I'm very motivated to do these things, but I am second guessing myself, or I'm like, just not wanting to start. I'm just afraid of the start, because what if, it's the what if, so, just stop overthinking. I'm not even going to keep over explaining this sentence. Just stop what you're doing and do the thing you said you're going to do. If it's to go work out, stop this video and go work out. If it's to read the Bible, stop what you're doing and go read another scripture. Meditate on the other scriptures that I've like said. If it's to... I don't know. Participate in dry January. Stop what you're doing right now and call your best friend and say, hey, I know we're halfway through the year. Can we like pick up these last two weeks and do dry January and make it accountable every day, every day. Just text and say, hey, day one complete, day two complete, day three complete so that you're staying accountable to somebody. And so since I'm telling you to stop what you're doing and go do those things, I'm going to stop what I'm doing right now, which is overthinking and over explaining and stop this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully these tips help you to be consistent with the rest of your goals. I know that I'm about to do what I need to do to accomplish what I need to accomplish in 2024. And I hope that you do the same. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye guys.